term stress be used a lot? You always hear about a stressful job or somebody who's got lots of stresses happening in their lives. But what actually is stress and how does it impact you? Well, there's four main types of stress that we talk about. The first one is emotional stress. So that's things like a stressful job, maybe financial stress, maybe family stresses or hormonal changes. There's also physical stresses. So physical stress can be either micro traumas or macro traumas. So a micro trauma would be something like a repetitive bending action, or maybe always carrying a heavy bag on one shoulder, always picking up a child and putting them on one hip, or poor posture every single day. If we're always sitting in a bad position, it's gonna put a lot of stress through our bodies. It can also be a macro trauma. So that would be something bigger, like maybe a car accident, maybe a bike accident or a fall something that's enough to shift the structures within our body. You also have chemical stress. So that's what's around us on a day-to-day -day basis and also what we're putting into our bodies. So chemical or toxic stresses could be things like pollution in the air. It could be molds within our home. It can also be what we're putting into our bodies like drugs and medication, maybe smoking, maybe poor diet. If we have too many inflammatory foods like alcohol, sugars, processed foods, caffeine, it increases inflammation and it elicits a stress response by our nervous system. Another type of stress is technological stress. So everything has a certain frequency and that includes our nervous systems. So things like Wi-Fi, things like mobile phones and 4G, 5G, they all have a certain frequency and it vibrates at a higher level to our nervous system. So that interaction causes a stress response by our bodies. But what is our stress response? So our stress response is our fight and flight response, which is part of our sympathetic nervous system. So what happens during these times is all of the blood gets diverted from our non-essential organs into the muscles within our body. Because if I was confronted with a life or death situation, like a lion coming towards me, I want the blood in my muscles so I can fight the lion or run away. Problem is, when we're exposed to any of those different four types of stresses that I just mentioned, the same reaction is happening within your body. So that commonly will lead to things like muscle tightening, muscle contracture, lots of aching all over our bodies. We tend to have reduced digestive function, so that will cause things like IBS type symptoms. People tend to have problems with reproducing during these times as well because there's not enough blood supply to these non-essential organs. So ways of managing our stress and helping to suppress that sympathetic nervous system are really, really important to allow your body to function to the best of its ability. Now, there's been lots of studies that show that chiropractic adjustments help to suppress that sympathetic nervous system and increase what we call your rest and digest system, which is the opposite response. That's what we want it to be. Other ways of helping to reduce your stress are things like meditation and mindfulness. There's lots of different ways of doing this and it doesn't take too much time. So I personally like to do a guided meditation. So I have lots of apps that I will use and it will tell me what to do and how to breathe, etc. You can also do breath workshops, which are really useful as well. Other tips to help to reduce your stress are things like exercise. So yoga is a great one because it helps to stretch and tone your muscles. And then you usually have a meditation element at the end of those sessions as well. But any exercise that you like, whether it's a brisk walk, whether it's running, cycling, whatever suits you best is gonna help to reduce the stress levels within your body. So I hope you find this useful. I hope you find a stress relieving technique that works better for you. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to comment.